It's not a job for the faint of heart, being a nuisance trapper. It is. You've got to be committed. I'd shut it off. You've got to be courageous. Keep your rod tight. But if you can manage to catch one of these suckers, the county government will pay you a whopping... 30 bucks? Wait, what the... This Florida man wasn't having it either. So when his father finally convinced him to join the family business, he and his wife got creative and found a fortune hiding behind no spanks. You want to call it work, I call it fun. Meet the Lightsies. We promise they won't bite you when we get through with you. Did you write down to save the head on Jerry's alligator? Yes. Yeah. I'm Rick. And I'm Bunny. We own Florida Trophy Gators. Marty, you want me to help you? We're a state certified alligator processor. Taxidermy is the biggest part of our business, but we also sell meat, sell hides. We also take some of those hides and we'll have leather products made from them. We use every part of that alligator and believe me, people want every part of him. And those gator parts fetch quite a premium. Last year, we grossed $1,400,000. What? <laughs> This is news to me. We're learning this together. What was that number? That's because while Bunny is in the office wrangling the finances, no, you I got him like in the lip. Now, now. Rick's in a boat wrestling the gators. Here he goes. I'm the nuisance alligator trapper here in Okeechobee, and we go to residential areas and catch the alligator. We don't get paid a whole lot for going out and getting this alligator. $30. $30, but the trapper gets the gator. It's our gator. We probably taxidermy between three and 400 a year. We mount all different size alligators. If somebody wanted to do a full body mount on a, on a five foot alligator with a habitat and that, you know, he'd probably spend around $2,000. But if you get up into the 12 and 13 foot range, you easily spend between seven and $8,000 on it. A pretty impressive payday for a job Rick never wanted. My family has always been involved in alligators. Ricky's uncle and dad were two of the first nuisance trappers in Okeechobee County. But I always wanted to do something different, you know. I just wanted to work for myself. And Rick did just that for the next 30 years, working all sorts of odd jobs to support his family. But money was always tight. He's always been self-employed. So uh, we just never knew what we were going to have for that month. I mean, sometimes we went three months and didn't make a mortgage payment. It was, it was, it was hard. I think the kick in the pants for me is when my dad came to me one day and said, hey, I'm not able to stuff the gators like I used to and get them tight. It's better for you to do it while I'm still here to show you the tricks of the trade. Just drop it right down in there. Right there. Get that gator. In 2006, Bunny and Rick took over his dad's tiny gator business. Well aware that trapping itself wasn't very lucrative, they were counting on selling the skins to make up the difference. They were in for a rude awakening. One of the biggest struggles we had at the beginning was the hide prices vary. We thought the sale of the hides was going to be a massive part of our income, and that is totally at the whim of the tanneries and whatnot, so the prices might go from $45 a foot down to $7 a foot. So that's when we learned to use all of the alligator. So rather than be at the mercy of the tanneries, they grabbed the gator by the tail and started producing their own products. We've gotten to where we use every part of that alligator, whether it's jewelry from the teeth and the sculpts, a or a toe is a keychain, key or leather products from a remainder of a hide if they only want a half body mount. We've got a line of boots and purses and wallets and belts. We definitely think that Florida Trophy Gators has gone from regular taxidermy to artwork. And it's safe to say their artwork is powerful. Maybe too powerful. What in the world is wrong with you guys? Y'all are gagging. Y'all are a bunch of sissies. We're smelling money. It smells good. But despite all their newfound success, Rick and Bunny haven't let the money or the smell go to their heads. Let's say the blessing eat some fried gator meat, okay? We've lived in the same house 42 years, and we have remodeled it. We have doubled it in size. I mean, it's a whole, what, 1,900 square feet now? Do you really 
think that it gets much better than this. <laughs> we haven't bought a whole lot of new stuff, but we are doing everything we can to build the memories with our family. So this year for Christmas, we took them all on a cruise, and it was great. My grandkids, my kids won't remember what I bought them for Christmas 2015. But I can promise you they will remember the trip that we took. That's very touching, guys. But come on, show them your cars. I high rolled a little bit and bought a F-250 Ford truck. And Ricky bought me a brand new Lexus. He wanted me to have the luxury package, but the first car we saw had the ultra luxury package. So I sure am enjoying it. She's always said that she'd married me for all my money and she was gonna stay with me until I got it. So I'm getting a little bit nervous right here toward the end. <laughs> Don't you have something you need to do? The biggest thing I need to do is try to keep you two straight. Oh, come on, get out of here. Go mound an alligator. <laughs> but I think we really have found the niche what we enjoy doing. For Trippy Gators, this is funny. May I help you? No matter what your age, if there's something that you love to do and you're physically able to do it, then do it. If you're doing it and you're enjoying it, then you're a success.